Early on a Sunday morning, this team of fire officers and TNTEC staff were clearing this tree that fell, blocking the roadway and obstructing traffic on Orangefield Road in Carapachima. It had been hit by lightning. There were similar scenes in Santa Cruz, while Tobago seems to be disintegrating. After two landslides were reported in Bad Rock on Saturday, the first one partially blocking the road, and when that one was cleared, a second one developed, completely blocking the road. This morning, Tobago motorists are being told the Idlewild Road is severely compromised and they are strongly encouraged to seek alternative routes. Similarly, those who live near watercourses are very concerned even today. Well, this morning I come to monitor the height of the river to see how much flood it has to know that if it's coming up on the road, so that when I'm able to go to work, it don't have water on the road. So I come to monitor to see if it have water on the road. He says the river is already high and is still rising. Drivers on the streets along Rostonia, Lise's Gardens and McVean Coover had to navigate flooded roadways. Some motorists had to turn back when they reached the southern main road because it was impassable. Not even the highway was spared. Coover South MP Rudy and Darsing says he keeps asking for the area drains to be cleared, asking specifically for a gully sucker to clear the drains along the Coover main road, but his requests have been ignored. It used to be the sound of the rain was welcome, but this week has shown us Mother Nature at her worst, and drier weather is needed to help things return to some form of normal. Sweeney Gray, CNC3 News.